Jackson is complaining about. Okay, uh, here you can see uh, the United States Tag Team Championship is on the line. The introductions are being made. This is at the at the onset. Uh, Jim Holiday being placed in the steel cage. Now that cage will be raised above the ring. And All right, so Gordon. Uh, to start with, this is a very precarious position in which to put gentleman Jim Holiday. Not only because of the danger of being above the ring like that and the feeling of being confined, but what happens is you take away his capacity to communicate with the Zambui Express during a championship match, and I think that's the sole reason that he was put up there. But gentleman Jim Holliday is a very, very smart man, and he realized that if it come down to a critical point that he had to communicate with him, I know for a fact that he took a tablet of paper, he took a ballpoint pen and a rope with him. He was writing notes during the match. He saw a couple of weaknesses, and he took, and there's the rope. Now, he dropped the rope with instructions on it for Mr. Elijah Keene. The blackjack Mulligan came, ran him into the post. He suffered a severe wound that required stitches, lost a considerable amount of blood, couldn't wrestle for a couple of days. Then to add insult to injury, he took the loose rope and tied it around his neck and tried to hang the man. Then he took a pair of foreign objects out of his pipe because I saw it, I witnessed it myself, and when Mr. Kareem Muhammad went to put the Zambu Express on Dusty Road, Blackjack Mulligan from the outside with a foreign object hit him from the blind side. So again, you have the injustice of gentleman him, Jim Holliday, being humiliated, placing him above the ring where he couldn't communicate. You got Blackjack Mulligan trying to steal their notes, taking a foreign object, and this is the part that really, really hurts me. This is an empty, hollow victory right here. The fans, the capacity crowd at the Lakeland Civic Center, the town of the year, jumping up and down in excitement. If I was Dusty Rhodes and Blackjack Mulligan at this point, I'd take a couple paper sacks like they would out at the Bucks game and put them over their head and leave so nobody could even know who they were. You can tell the people are disappointed. They're running for the exits. They realize that this is a case of highway robbery. You don't see much cheering. You don't see much accolades for Dusty Rhodes. Look, the people trying to throw things at him as far as I can see. Somebody there very upset just as much as I am. Well, I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. That's history. It is an injustice. It should never have taken place. But at this point, we've got to look on further down the road and do what is necessary to get the current champion, Rose and Mulligan, back in the ring to get the trophy back where it rightfully belongs with the Zambui Express. And gentlemen, Jim Holiday, just a little bit of advice. You're going to have this kind of problem time and again. Anytime you go to the Lakeland Civic Center, I realize it's the town of the year, the building of the year, but Dusty Rhodes has a strong hold on the people over there at the Lakeland Civic Center. You come to the Sun Dome, you come to the Orlando Sports Stadium, you've got a strong support in Dusty Rhodes like you've never seen before. The answer to your problem is going to be to go to one of the most prestigious buildings in the South where Dusty Rhodes doesn't enjoy that stronghold, and I'm talking about the convention center in Miami Beach. And if we can get a return match, and I don't care what the stipulations are because that's not important. We're above stipulations. We can always come up with an answer. And if you can get a return match, and I'll do everything that I can to exert my influence, and I haven't been getting much help around here lately, I might add. Well, I might add this, sir. I, was, I found it interesting a few moments ago you were saying you were a disinterested bystander, then all of a sudden you were saying, we, we, we. I'll tell you what, next week you had asked me about the possibility of a match, one fall television time with Barry Windham against Cowboy Ron Bass. Barry Windham is the Florida heavyweight champion. That match will take place next week with no standby matches. We have some uh, videotaped uh, matches uh, of the past that we can use if necessary. But next week, the Florida championship versus the Saddle. Well, this is the moment we've been waiting for, the opportunity to put the Florida title around Cowboy Ron Bass's waist get this thing about the saddle out, of, saddle out of the picture, and I can guarantee you one thing, Cowboy Ron Bass will be prepared for that match. Thank you so very much. I, we, there's more to this than meets the eye, no question about it. We'll be back.